What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today is really no going to be any more uplifting. This month is just getting worse and worse. I'm videoing Coraline right now and you might think that, oh, something's wrong with her. But no, she's completely fine. She's doing absolutely fine. Sadly, the cat mantis is dead. It's pretty obvious what happened. The locust has ate it. It's munched it into tiny wee bits. This cat mantis has been pretty aggressive and stuff, so I am really surprised. It's eventually just gave in and it's been eaten. So if you look down there, you'll see what is remaining. There's its head. Now, that is the same size of locusts that I've been feeding this cat mantis for day one and it's been able to handle them and, and it's not like the cat mantis was due to molt and it's been caught off guard because, well, it has been caught off guard, quite obviously, but it's not like it was due to molt or anything. There's me devastated again. First we've lost a spiny flower mantis and now we've just lost a lovely cat mantis to that stupid locust. So that locust is now going to get fed to this girl. But I'll probably not feed it to her just now because she is really fat still because I've gave her two locusts pretty recently, two Locust. There's a nice cat mantis as well and usually I do keep my eye on them because I know locusts and especially crickets can be quite nippy. Well this this video guys was just you know showing you that this sadly has happened. If you do keep mantises pretty much let this be a lesson to you to always keep an eye on them even if their prey is the same size or if you know they can handle them no problem because that guy or girl could handle those size locusts is no problem. Since I've had the cat mantis, that's all I've fed it and it's been fine with them. Give it, obviously I've given it some variety as well, like flies and stuff. It did enjoy a locust and this time the locusts enjoyed the mantis sadly. As I said, just let this be a lesson, no matter what, there's always a chance that the predator could become the prey. I've always known to keep an eye on them and stuff, it's just that the one time I've been caught off guard, the mantis has been caught off guard. Obviously you've seen that I moved the bordered mantis girl um, into this one. See there's a locust in there and even that girl, oh. <laughs> Even um, that girl can handle those little locusts as well. She hasn't molted when she's been with me so far, and the last time she molted, I think I already checked this the other day actually in another video, was the 20th, oh no, it's a birthday up my top about, <laughs> uh, with 10th of January, pretty much kind of near the end of February almost. There is a chance that she is due to molt, because she was just as aggressive, you know, picking off the bigger ones and stuff, she had no problem taking them down. Honestly, hopefully the next video is meant uplifting because that's the last couple of videos that have not exactly been happy. First it was the mould and that, which obviously wasn't too bad. They got rid of it and it was fine. Then obviously a spiny flower mantis girl died. But anyway guys, that pretty much is the end of the video. I'm just going to wrap it up here because, you know, it's it's there's no point making a, a massive long video and it's just, you know, a, a poor cat mantis that's sadly passed away. So anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and hopefully in the next video is made uplifting than this one anyway. And I'll see you in the next video.